Member for Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. It's a pleasure to rise and speak to this bill, and thank you to the Minister for bringing it forward. Well, I thank the Minister for bringing it forward. I do note that, uh, that the structure of this bill, Bill 40, uh, defines exactly how this government sees the issues surrounding housing that British Columbians face. It's called the Natural Gas Development Statutes Amendment Act, and yet in it are significant housing reforms, both for tenants and landlords and for owners of strata units. It's a natural gas bill, Honourable Speaker, that, oh yeah, includes housing. Now, why, Honourable Speaker, do you see a housing bill called the Natural Gas Development Statutes Amendment Act? Well, for this government, Honourable Speaker, housing issues aren't sufficiently important to require their own bill because they aren't sufficiently important to require their own minister. We don't have a full-time housing minister in British Columbia, Honourable Speaker. And we don't have a full-time housing minister in British Columbia, Honourable Speaker, despite the fact that we're facing a crisis in housing across the province. We've got tent cities in Abbotsford and Maple Ridge of the homeless. 1,593 people used an emergency housing shelter in Prince George last year. 49 people in Prince George chronically homeless. Further north, 64 homeless in Terrace last year which count itself was higher than expected this year, 74 homeless in Terrace, British Columbia. So in response to this, do we see a bill today where the minister responsible for natural gas and, oh yeah, housing, is he mandating and standardizing a province-wide count of the number of homeless to see what kind of progress, if any, we're making in reducing the impact of this serious social issue, Honourable Speaker? An issue of conscience as we go into winter? No, he does not. He's probably too busy, Honourable Speaker. After all, he's also the Minister of Natural Gas, and things haven't been going too well in that portfolio either. Honourable Speaker, for a province-wide crisis of housing, we have a part-time minister. Insufficient rental housing. Rents skyrocketing, skyrocketing, taking in some parts of the province more than half of residents' incomes. In the Lower Mainland, major concerns about the impact of international capital on the residential housing market. From families hoping to buy homes or let alone uh, two-bedroom condos who are priced out of a market that increasingly has no connection to the amount of money that they can earn in British Columbia. To developers watching future condo site prices spike well beyond what current sales prices for condos can support. Why? Because of international speculation. It's the issue of the day and this government is totally absent. Well, not totally absent. The minister responsible for natural gas and, oh yeah, housing. Well, he thinks that housing in the lower mainland is actually, quote, pretty affordable, unquote. Astounding, honorable speaker. Now, he was quoted saying this, despite Vancouver being listed the second most expensive city for real estate in the world by the US think tank Demographia and the most expensive city in Canada. And so we get this bill, Honourable Speaker. This bill reflects the extent of the work on housing we've seen in this legislature from this government to address these issues. So yes, this is indeed a natural gas bill that is, oh yeah, about housing too. It's an afterthought for this minister and the premier because according to them, things are pretty great in housing. The premier, in fact, Honourable Speaker, so people concerned about high, price, high housing price in Lower Mainland should move to Fort St. John, Honourable Speaker, Fort St. John housing is so expensive, they're having trouble recruiting doctors. This Premier is out of, trust, out of touch on housing issues because she places such a low priority on housing a concern of, as a concern of her government that she doesn't even think the issue needs a full-time minister. So what do we see from the government in this natural gas and, oh yeah, housing bill? Anyway, Honourable Speaker, a very common sense change recommended by West Coast Leaf a long time ago, to allow people to end their lease early if they're fleeing family violence or if they receive a long-term care facility placement. Makes sense, Honourable Speaker. Strata Property Act, if 80% of the people in a strata vote to dissolve the strata, sell the building, they can do that if they get the approval of BC Supreme Court. Sure, that makes sense, Honourable Speaker. You can uh, receive your tenant deposit back by electronic payment. 
Good idea, honorable speaker. But what's, <laughs> well, you look at this, honorable speaker, the most substantive uh, piece of housing legislation we've seen come forward from this government, I, th I think, since the election. And what's not in this bill? Any indication that the government's concerned at all about the cost of rent or purchase of housing across the, pri the province? Price is almost completely disconnected from people's incomes. What else is missing, Honourable Speaker? Any indication that this government understands the residential tenancy tribunal system is broken, with chronically excessive wait times for landlords and tenants, decisions that are practically impossible to enforce, inconsistency between decisions and insufficient protection from rent evictions or abuse of fixed-term tenancies in tight rental markets? What else is missing? Any show of interest in ensuring this government has the legislative tools it needs to measure, quantify, and if necessary, restrict the billion dollar flows of international capital into our residential housing market? Absolutely nothing in here, Honorable Speaker. What else is missing? Any indication from this government that the growing problem of homelessness in tent cities, to the point that courts two weeks ago recognized the right of people to camp in city parks in British Columbia. This government telling cities, there's nothing we can do, you better give up your parks because the homeless are not going away, and now there's a right to camp in those parks. An empty victory, Honourable Speaker, for housing advocates who are hoping for so much more. Is there anything in this bill about that, Honourable Speaker? Any indication in this bill that they're preparing to address that issue, that they heard about the court decision, that they're worried about what's happening to cities? That they understand the close connection between mental health and addiction and the crisis being faced by cities throughout the province on homelessness? Nothing. As usual, Honourable Speaker, for this government, housing issues for families and individuals throughout the province are an afterthought. Just as housing is an afterthought in the Minister's job description as Minister of Natural Gas and, oh yeah, housing, just as housing is an afterthought in the text of this bill, this natural gas bill that's about, oh yeah, housing as well. We can do better, Honourable Speaker. Thank you for the time to address this bill.